All right, so before we go, safety first, obviously. And, um, oh. We're gonna get a haircut. Um, now we trained last night. Put it down, put it down. Like I said before, um, on the last video that I we filmed and I didn't put up last night is because I lost some of the clips that we were supposed to put in there, so the video looked very choppy, and therefore I didn't want to upload that. Now, would I have uploaded this, it? This time of course I would have. I lost it because it was. Him. I lost it. I what I said. I lost the clips, and they weren't really good because they were so. Ch it was so choppy when it was put together. That I didn't want to use it. So this time we're actually going to save everything on iCloud. Because I wasn't doing that. And um, that way it's backed up. Anyways, um, we're going to go get a haircut right now. And for that, we'll show you guys haircuts. Not that special. Um, but. And then we're going to go to the gym. Then we're going to go to the gym. That's later on in the day. Later on in the night. Anything else? And if we manage to, to get thirty dollars each, we'll go to Sushi Cat. I made an oopsie. This is why you guys shouldn't get with Moises. I forgot my wallet at home before I left. We're gonna start a GoFundMe page for Moises. I just never carry my wallet with me or just forget the cash. To take out cash. You mad? Mm -hmm. He's disappointed. I'm mad. Watch, next time I forget my wallet when we go out to eat, and then I'm gonna be like, I don't have money, so can you hold it down? <laughs> Close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left Alright guys, so for this part of the video we just decided to skip over to the back workout The reason why is because we just got a haircut and I wasn't filming I do have a clip at the end of this video that I'm going to show So stay tuned for that Hope you guys enjoy <laughs> What's up guys? We're gonna do a little cardio right now. We're gonna do some hit. Uh, for those of you that don't know what that is, I think it means high intense and terrible training. So what do you mean I think it means. Well, I'm pretty sure it means that. So it's hit H I I T. Ten seconds. Not hit, you like H I T. Yeah. Okay, whatever. So with that being said, we're gonna run like fast pace run, like a sprint for a minute straight. Then take a 30 second break and then do the same thing again for like 15 minutes. We're gonna do that right now. And if you, for you guys that don't know what hit is good for, it basically gives you an afterburn effect, which means that your body goes into an effect where it burns calories even after your workout is over. That's why you're able to lose a lot of weight with it because you know you keep burning fat. Your metabolism spikes up with the rest of the day. Uh, a couple hours actually, not that long, but regardless, your metabolism spiked up. So that's why uh, it is one of the good options to do, especially in the morning, fasted. Um, we're late at night, but see, so it's metabolism spiked up during the night, or you start your metabolism spiked up during the morning. That was a minute. You sure it was a minute, bro? Yeah. All right. I started at 720. So guys, the reason why I also wanted to start losing weight is because, I mean, I'm not scared to talk about it and I'm not ashamed of it because I chose to live that way. But at high cholesterol levels, uh, <laughs> plus my chest was hurting. So I went to the doctors to get checked out and they told me that I had high cholesterol and I had to lose weight. I was weighing 227 
Absolutely. And a week, week and a half, I dropped down to 113. And what I did was I did cardio, and I only ate brown rice, chicken, and fish, and turkey meat. And that was it. I stopped eating outside, and I lost those pounds. So I'm going for more. We have Diego in the back, Brian in the back, and we also Brian's trying to get pizza, and Diego's just trying to get coffee. So we'll catch you in the next one. What is going on, guys? It's Moises. Uh, you, you saw Diego there and Brian there, my camera guy. Uh, thanks a lot, Brian, for recording this again. And uh, anyways, guys, for this part of the workout, we started off with uh, six sets, three warm-up sets, and three working sets. We started off with a rotation, actually, with the uh, supported T-bar row and lateral pull-down on Smith machine, 25-pound plates on each side on the lateral pull-down machine, and a 25-pound plate on the supported T-bar row. Now we started off our, we finished off, I'm sorry, our third set of our warm up uh, with 70 pounds on the supported T-bar row and 70 pounds on each side on the, on the lateral pull down Smith machine. And after that we switched over to our first working set which was 245 pound plates on each side on the lateral pull down Smith machine and 245 pound plates on the supported T-bar row. Now guys, when you're trying to do these exercises for uh, back, uh, you're trying to look for the meanest, the longest stretch you can get on the way down on the supported T-bar row. What you're gonna do there is you're gonna destroy the muscle fibers and that's over time gonna cause the muscle to grow. And the same thing goes for the lateral pull down machine. Uh, you guys need to get the biggest, longest stretch you possibly can plan plan can on the way up and the meanest squeeze on the way down Alright guys, so this is our final working set, our third working set. We tried doing 345 pound plates on the lateral smith machine, lateral pull down smith machine. And uh, we did force reps, which is what you're watching right now, helping each other out, uh, bring the thing down, and then letting them um, release it and, and as slowly as possible. Uh, the reason why we do force reps is to get that squeeze in, like I said. And uh, we try to bring it back up slowly so we can get that stretch in. Um, and rip that muscle fiber apart, which is the best thing you guys can do. So like I said a few clips back, the same thing applies to the supported T-bar row. You're trying to get the meanest stretch you can possibly get on the way down and the best squeeze you can, can get on the way up. Now it's a bit easier for me to do it on the supported T-bar row. For some reason, I don't know the reason, it's just some reason. Uh, <laughs> but uh, this is me doing it.
Alright guys, so after we finished doing supported T-bar rows and lateral pull downs on the Smith machine, we went on to do rack pulls on the squat machine. Now this is my favorite exercise for back thickness. How, how thick do I want my back? Thick. We started off uh, rack pulls at 45 pounds on each side, so 135 in total on the bar, and we worked all the way up to 315, and that's when I decided to, you know what, give it a little kick and go to 405. Got it, bro. Oh, hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh, yeah, bro. Oh, nice. 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 Oh, but uh, guys, if you guys cannot lift up the weight, please don't lift the weight up. You guys will probably hurt yourselves trying to do so, and you guys could get a permanent injury, so don't do that. Uh, this is me doing 315. I did three triples, um, so that's three sets of three. Uh, not, not a big deal to me, honestly. But, uh, you know, this is Diego doing his set. He's a short guy, but guys, you know, he's, a, he's strong as hell, to be honest with you. Oh, he needs some milk. 